Okay, the next topic is going to be how to find the solution for an exam equation. Actually, um, the beginning of the exact equation is just coming from this. If you have function f x y, which is a function of x and y, is equal to c. C is a constant. The thing that you have d f x y is equal to d c. d c differential of the constant is equal to zero. And if you do partial uh, derivative of x compared to y and compared to x, you would get df by dx times dx plus df by dy times dy equal to zero. Right? The definition of df xy is mean this. So if you compare to our form of the exact equation, you would note that mxy dx plus nxy dy is equal to zero. And if it is an exact equation, you know that the m by dy is equal to the n by dx, right? So if you compare this equation to this equation, you would see that df by dx is equal to mxy. And df by dy is equal to mxy. Okay. We are going to use this um, relationship to find the answer. So, because this one actually is coming from this one. So in this case, if you do the integral of f, you do the integral of this one, is equal to right, right. Why I have to plus dy because dy is kind of constant. You would have this term in the beginning of this of the f. Your f combining with the term of x and the terms of y. Likewise, this one. If you do integral of this one, you would get n x y dy plus h x, right? Or you can say that your f is integral and dy plus hx. So if you know gx of uh, dy or hx, you would know that what is your what is your fx, and that would be the answer of your solution. Then fxy is equal to c. But the thing is that how can we find gy and how can we find fx so that to pick one one way but we know that this f and this f is the same right it's the same function so the way that we can solve for the final differential equation the uh, the solution of the exact differential equation is just that if if you pick this way You do differential of this one by x. If you do this one, you know that f is equal to integral of m dx plus dy, right? So you do differential of this one by y. You would get the dif differential of this one compared to y, and you would get
the first derivative of gy, which is equal to n. And you know in xy, you know this term. So you just solve for the first derivative of y, and then you do integral one more time, you would get dy. But if you do the either way, if you pick up the fy, you want to pick this term. If you want to pick this term, you've got to do deriv derivative of f by x. So you would get the first derivative of fx, which is equal to m, uh, which is equal to m. Right? You do different, you do differential of this f by x. You would, you would get it equal to do the opposite way in order to get fx. Or the other way that you can do, you just do integral of both, and then union them, make a union of these two functions, you would get f x y. A little bit confused, right? Let's take a look at the example. It might be easier to understand. For example. Find solution of three x x y minus two d x plus x to the power three plus two y d y equal to zero. First, we got to check that whether this differential equation is an exact. So our m is. And our n is, right? We do derivative of m with two y, right? And we do derivative of n to x. When we do derivative m to y, we keep x as a constant. So we would get what? 3x squared. Okay? This one. If you do derivative of m to y, you would get 3x squared. Now for n, if you do derivative of n to x, you would get 3x squared. You take y as a constant so you won't have the second term that way. Both of them are equal, so we would say that this is an exact equation. Now we are going to find the solution of this differential equation. We say that our this one is m. If you take from m, we know that this term is equal to df by ds, right? Write down the term that is more easier to understand, like that. If we do integral of this one, you would get Right, there might be some function of y there because when you do derivative of f, when you do derivative of f, uh, let's say what if, what if, what what if our f x y is equal to when you do derivative of f to x, what do you get? Let's take this term, this equation. If you have f is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus 2y squared. Let me take this one out first. 
then we might not be confused. If we have f x y is equal to x squared plus two x y plus two y squared, you do derivative of f by x. What do you get? You do derivative with x. You take y as a constant. You get what? 2x plus 2y. Is that it? Is that it? You don't have this term. So when you do integral of f, this f, I have to make plus dy because this one, when you, you, you differential it, it just disappears because you take it as a constant. So when you do integral, you've got to put it back. If you don't put it back, that means, that means you have only this term, 2x dx. Then you do integral of 2x dx is equal to x squared. You do integral of 2y dx, you got 2xy. But that's not it, because there's still some function of y there. So that's why we got to put it as a dy, because we don't know what is dy. If you don't put dy here, that means you just assume that your fx at the beginning has no function of y, which is not right. It's not right. It might be right in some case, but not every case. So that's why we got to put dy there. That is the reason. Okay. Likewise, if you do the derivative of f2y, what do you get? If you do the derivative of y, you take x as a constant. What do you get? 2x plus 4y. When you do integral of this one, because you want to, you want to get the function, the f function. So you do integral of this term. I've got to put hx there. Okay? So you integral it, you would get what? 2xy plus y squared. If you don't put hx there, so that means you just assume that at the beginning you don't have the x function only, which is not right. So that's why you got to put hx there. So you understand this point, right? Now do you understand this point? Yes. Now go back to our example. There. So now I said that, okay, I'm going to pick up this one first. I pick up df by dx. So the term which is equal to df by dx is our m. And then when you do integral, you've got to put dy there. Now you know that. Why we have to put dy there, right? Okay. But you know that already. Now we are going to do the integral of this one. Integral of 3x square y dx equal to x to the power 3 times y. And integral negative 6x dx is equal to minus 3x square plus dy. How can we find dy? We've got to do differential of this f to y, right? Which is equal to our n. Uh, it's equal to what? Now you do derivative of this f to y. We know n already, so we we are not, you know, not in trouble. Now we do derivative of this f 
2y, what do you get? To derivative of this f, 2y, you take x as a constant. What do you get for the first term? You get x to the power 3 minus what? This one, if you do derivative 2y, you would get 0, right? And then the last term, you do derivative 2y, you would get d dy by dy. Right? But now we know our n. What is our n? Our n is equal to x to the power 3 plus 2y. Now, can you solve for dy from here? Yes, you can. You know that you get x to the power 3 plus d dy by dy is equal to x to the power 3 plus 2y. x to the power 3 here and x to the power 3 there. They all, when you move here, there to here, you would get 0. So you would get d dy by dy is equal to 2y. Right? Now can you find dy? Yes, of course. You just move this dy to the right hand side of your differential equation. And then you do integral. You would get dy is equal to y squared. And then now you know your f, right? You know your f. Your f would be equal to x to the power 3, y minus 3x squared plus y squared equal to c. That is the answer of this differential equation.